Well, I think that is known by now. Um, there were a number of other factors. Um, as I've said, it can be no secret anymore, and most people have already determined this, that the selection of the delegates, for instance, uh, was not done by the book as it ought to have been. But as I've said, I don't want to lament on this. This is not something that I complained about. Um, other things were included, uh, influence from uh, powerful forces in the party, uh, financial forces as well as uh, in terms of the leaders of our party. But it makes no use now to cry. I went into that convention knowing of those handicaps and believed that the people of our party, those who were afforded the right to vote, would have been able to see past all that, and it didn't happen. So for me, it is a lesson learned, and it also is a lesson that, in fact, so many of my colleagues continue to not uh, support me in the manner in which a leader needs to be supported, so that I have to look at things and determine how I can improve on those relationships if it is I'm going to offer myself again. And so uh, rather than look back and try to find the reasons and make excuses as to why uh, I wasn't successful, I'd much rather look ahead and look for ways in which I could then make sure that the mistakes that were made in the last convention, and even if you argue they're not mistakes and they were happening, to ensure that those happenings don't occur again uh, whenever given the opportunity. I'm fortunate that, in fact, an opportunity is once again presenting itself so early. And um, it is still yet to be determined whether I will take that opportunity. But, of course, whether or not I am able to withstand uh, and fix some of the issues that plagued that convention are all going to be determinants in my process of discerning what I should offer myself again. Now, the person who most of the support has gone behind in the wake of Sunday, that is Deputy Prime Minister Hugo Pat, has essentially said that he is content with the post that he currently holds. In other words, he doesn't have any immediate desire to run for party leader. Um, is it now a consideration for you, considering that perhaps there is no one else in the immediate future that would be offering him or herself for that vote? Well, I, I don't know that that is his position, honestly. Um, I believe that there are many who are urging him to uh, put himself forward. Um, I have heard some say that he feels that he's not quite ready for such an undertaking, but uh, I have not heard him say uh, him, himself, quite honestly. But that, of course, has to be a factor in what it is I am trying to determine. But uh, for me, there are many other factors, including the fact that we need to be very united at this time. Uh, I need the support of the majority of my colleagues, not just a simple majority either. We far along in terms of the timeline leading to these general elections that we can't afford to not get it right this time. And so it must mean that if I am to do this, or anybody who is to do this, must have the support, and I, I don't mean just lip service, I mean uh, full committed support, everybody's shoulders to the wheel to uh, support such a leader that we are able to uh, deliver the victory for the UDP. 